Uh, welcome here, everybody. I'm very happy to uh, present you here, Don Fela. <laughs> He's the legend of MLM, as you maybe know. He's the author of a 45 second presentation that change your life, the own your life system. This is the huge, incredible thing in the MLM world that everybody has to know how to do this in, in that way. So you have the chance right now to listen to him directly from the first hand, let's say, <laughs> and you can ask him about all details that you maybe don't understand or you would like to do how, or would, you, would like to know how to do this exactly or how he did it in, in, in the past. So uh, please listen to him. Uh, and then we, after the presentation of Don, we will have a chance to ask in the second part will be for question and answer. You can put the, the question here in the chat or ask him directly. Uh, as you wish, we can talk, we can uh, give some testimonies if you, you have an experience of, of your network. Of course, we are uh, here in neutral, so please don't uh, talk about any company because we would like to um, uh, stay here uh, just for everybody, that everybody can be uh, uh, how to say secure and um, ensure that uh, there is a very good place for learning MLM in direct uh, in, in correct way. So the Don, the stage is yours. Um, I'm very happy that you you are joining here and you are with us. And please let us know about everything what you would like to say us. Thank you, Adriana. Uh, as she said, I won't be talking about any company or products, but I will tell you this that. No, I've been in the industry for over 50 years, but I've been now with the same company for 25 years. And I started by sponsoring four distributors. And from those four distributors, that has grown to 1,400,000. 95% of all those distributors came from the original four. So that's got to tell you something right up front, okay? You do not have to note the word recruit a lot of people to build a large organization. You need to sponsor and teach your people to duplicate and build what we call a family of consumers. Now, if you're new and you don't know what it means to duplicate, it's real simple. That means when you sponsor someone, you help them go three or four or more levels deep. And when you've done that, you are duplicating. If you are recruiting people to sell, you will never, ever build a large business. It's impossible. If you have not read my book, in Napkin Presentation 4, it describes what your business should look like. It should look like the biggest building you've ever seen in your life, and that represents huge income. But see, you cannot see the building, and you cannot see the income until you do the foundation. The foundation to put up a big building has to be deep. That's what happens when you duplicate. If you're recruiting people to sell, you will never ever build a foundation. So you can never put up a big building and you can never make a lot of money, okay? I'm assuming I'm talking to people here that would like to make a lot of money, not just a few hundred dollars you know, a month. Okay, so anyway, let me give you an example of what's happening. A non-sales type, note the word, will recruit a salesperson thinking they're going to get rich because that salesperson can recruit a lot of people, which they can. In six months to a year, they can recruit 50 to 100 people. However, you look at their genealogy at the end of the year, they have not duplicated themselves in one place. They might be one level deep in a few places, but absolutely zero duplication. Now, what will happen when you have no duplication, you will get to the point where your people are dropping off faster than you can add them. So now what happens, the salesperson think there's something wrong with the company, the product, the marketing plan, their sponsor, but someone comes along and shows them another hot program, okay? So now they're off to the races on the new program. The person that recruited that 
salesperson, they're thinking, wow, they brought in all those people and they, they're quitting and they can't make it. How am I going to make it? And then they quit too. So the salesperson, they, they get into the new program. A year goes by and guess what? No duplication. Now they're ready for their next program. And then their next program. You'll run into people who've been in two, three, four, five different programs. Okay. And they'll never, never make it because they don't duplicate. If you don't duplicate, again, you can't do the foundation. You cannot put up the building. Okay. Uh, I want to tell you a quick story about a guy by the name of Jimmy the Butcher Smith. He was a butcher for about 42 years, had to retire because of back injury. He got into network marketing, said he loved network marketing, but he didn't do network marketing. He did sales. He was actually in a different program every year for 10 years, okay? Never made a lot of money, okay? Came across my training material and he learned that we do not recruit people to sell, but we sponsor and teach people to duplicate. Okay, he was 52 at the time. And by the time he was uh, 70 years old, he was worth 35 million. And when he got to 92, he was worth 90 million. We have the recording of an interview he did with Derek Ory, where twice in the interview, he mentions my name and that I was totally responsible for his success, okay? Uh, in fact, when I called him to ask him to do a testimony for a new edition of my book coming out in Europe, he was so appreciative of what he had learned from me and what it had done for his life and his family that he invited Nancy and I to go on a cruise. It was a company cruise he had uh, out of New Orleans. We live in San Diego. Within three days, paid for the airfare, paid for the cruise. We spent a whole week on this cruise. He didn't spend two minutes the entire week talking about his company, his product, and marketing plan. All he wanted to do was talk about the numbers, multiplication, and duplication. That, that was all he wanted to, wanted to talk about. Um, another uh, quick testimony, a guy by the name of Jordan Adler. In the business for 11 years, couldn't sponsor anybody because he kept trying to recruit people to sell. And you're going to learn here that people don't want to sell, okay? Uh, so anyway, that's pretty hard to recruit people into something they don't, don't want to do, okay? So anyway, he came across my book in a garage sale, bought it for 25 cents. He's now the top distributor in his company and is a multi multi-millionaire. See, 100% of the people in the world who are not in network marketing do not understand it. 80 to 90% of the people who are in it don't understand it. And you'd be amazed how many company owners don't understand it. Okay. Uh, I want to give you a personal testimony. For those of you who came on a couple minutes late, you did not hear that I started by sponsoring four distributors. And that grew to 1,400,000. And what I didn't tell you is that I am with a health company, like most of, I think most of you are. And uh, in 25 years, we get a lot of great health products, but in 25 years, I actually by accident sold one product. Some people were visiting at my home. The product was on the counter in the kitchen. They saw it. Asked what it was. I told them they wanted to buy. It's the only thing I've sold in 25 years. But last month, my volume was just almost $14 million. And by the end of this year, I will do over $150 million in volume. And I did that without ever recruiting anybody to sell anything. All I did was sponsored and taught people to duplicate. And again, duplication is when you sponsor someone, you help them get three levels deep. So anyway, what I want to do now is talk about your market, okay? Now, what that means is if you think you're selling a hot health product, how many people out there are really, really interested in wanting to hear what you have to say? Well, see, all over the world, people are only sick, hurt, or into health, 15%, okay? Sick, hurt, or into health. 
And that breaks down to 8% who are really into health. Now, and you want to argue that, I say, well, go measure the square footage of your health food stores in town, all your supermarkets in town, you're not going to have 8%. So you've got a very small market if you think you're looking for people that are, you know, uh, want to know about, uh, about health products. You know, it's like 8%. Um, you have a lot of competition, a lot of new companies starting up out there. These companies all make the same mistake when they start. That's why 90% of all the new companies that start up do not make it past their second year. The reason they don't make it, they all make the same mistake. They spend millions of dollars getting ready to launch a new healthcare, a new product lineup. And what do they do? They recruit a sales manager. Now, see, I think that's strange because we're not in sales, we're in network marketing. So why did they recruit a sales manager? This sales manager has never sponsored a person a day in his life in network marketing, never built a business in network marketing. So why did they recruit a sales manager? Two reasons. First one, like I already said, they don't understand network marketing. Okay, the next one, which is the biggest one, they recruit the sales manager to recruit people to sell and again, people do not want to sell, okay? So you've got a small market, a lot of accomplish, competition. Here comes the biggest problem. Like I already said, people don't want to sell. You know what the numbers there are? 95% of the people want nothing to do with selling. In America, you know, a few months ago on the news, they were talking about, you know, marketing and sales and so forth. And they said that only 4.7% of the population in America want anything to do with selling. So give you something to think about, okay? Think about 90% of the people in network marketing are actually looking for the 4.7% of the people who can't make it. <clears throat> now, when I say a salesperson can't make it, they can't if they keep doing sales. It's impossible because they don't duplicate. Okay, however, a salesperson can be huge in network marketing under two conditions. They've got to give up sales, period. And they've got to learn network marketing because they're different and they don't know it. So you got a small market, you know, a lot of competition, and nobody wants to sell. By the time I get through with this training, which is going to take very long, you're going to have a market of 100%. Because see, 95% of the people want something. The 5% of the people on the top, they already have it all. And they'd like to live forever. We say may, they make great customers. But it's just we don't, it's the way we approach and talk to them because we're not trying to get them to sell anything. And once you understand that, then you're going to realize that anybody you know uh, can build a business. Now, talk about activity. Okay, right now, just think about how many people you have in your organization, okay? Um, and then now think about, of all those people, how many of those people are actively building a business, okay? <laughs> Some time ago on a Zoom training afterwards, I asked a woman how many people she had. She said she had 500. And I said, well, that's good. How many of those people are active? Got real quiet for 10, 15 seconds. And she said 10%, 10, not 10%, 10, okay? So the industry average right now for activity is about 5%. That's why the virtually the entire industry worldwide is going down. These companies get to the point where they're so big and because they're not teaching their people to duplicate, people are start leaving and when they leave, they go to that next hot program. They take their people with them. They're just jumping all over the place. And all of a sudden, the company's going out of business. Now, we're going to help save the industry because what we're doing with our app system and technology, we're going to try to teach the industry how to duplicate so they don't have to go down. See, there's only two elements in building a business. So simple. Okay, you've got the vehicle, which is your company, product, and marketing plan. 
And everybody, of course, thinks they have the hottest vehicle on the planet. You can have the hottest vehicle in the world, but if you don't know how to drive, you're not gonna go anywhere. And see, knowing how to drive is understanding network marketing. And of course, that's why my book has sold over 11 million copies, because when people read it, they understand network marketing. And um, when uh, Nance and I, we did, uh, well, I'll give you a quick analogy first. If you own a brand new Lamborghini or Ferrari, they're hot vehicles, just like your company's a hot vehicle. But would you let someone, uh, your best friend, for example, go for a drive around the block in your brand new uh, Lamborghini or Ferrari if they did not know how to drive? So think about what's happening in the industry. Note the word recruit. People are recruiting people to sell, <clears throat> spending days, weeks, and months trying to teach people how to sell, which they don't want to sell. Uh, you know, they don't spend one minute teaching them how, how to drive the vehicle. They spend, they spend all that time talking about their company, product, park, and then zero time talking about how to drive. When we did those seminars in 35 different countries, I always started off by asking the people, when you sponsor a new person, how much teaching and training time does it take you before your new person can actually sponsor someone. Can you teach them enough in one or two hours? No. How about two or three days? <laughs> no. They say, well, how many of you have people that have been with you days, weeks, and literally months, and they still haven't sponsored anybody? Over half the people in the room would raise their hand. And I'd simply say, do you want to know why they haven't sponsored anybody? Because see, nobody taught them something that they can do, okay? It's one thing if you can do something, but you have to have something so simple that anybody can do. And that's what I'm gonna be teaching you here very shortly, because once you see how simple this is, virtually everybody you know uh, could be in the business. Once they understand that we have nothing to do with selling, okay? Now we do have a secret to the system. And that is we teach our people not to talk. Because see, the more you talk, the more people think they can't do what you're doing. And the more you talk, the more they think they don't have time to do it. So with our system, technology, and so forth, uh, almost virtually zero uh, talking. You'll see that as uh, I'm going to go over that with you shortly here. Uh, another quick analogy, once I've taught you the system and how this works, it's kind of like I can hand you the keys to the vehicle, you can get it in the vehicle today, you can actually start sponsoring people today, going down the freeway, sponsoring and teaching and building your business. Now note this, while you're building your business, you can learn all about your company product and marketing plan. The people who are recruiting people to sell, okay, for them, it's like they have to take the whole engine or bonnet or boot or part and take the, the whole thing apart and put it back together again before they can even talk to someone. That's why it takes them days, weeks, and months, you know, before they even try. And then once they try and they get rejected one time, they're done, okay? Where they don't have to go through that with what we're doing you know, with the system. And um, very simple here. Before we had the system, you know, people would buy my book and they buy five at a time, 20, 25 at a time. And they would get them out to their people because they know that once people read the book, they understood network marketing. They knew how to drive, okay? So anyway, I want you to focus on today, what it would cost you just buy one book and send it out to somebody, okay? Just roughly estimate in your mind what that would cost. You have to pay for the book. Now, unless the post office was next door to where you live, okay, you got to drive to the post office. So you have to add the cost of the petrol, the gas, to the cost of the book. Now, I don't know where, what you guys pay for gas, but we're hitting $7 a gallon most of the places in California, it's going to go to $8, $10 a gallon. 
So whatever it is for you, you add that to the cost of the book. Now, how much time did it take you to go to the post office? That time has value, okay? You get to the post office, you stand in line, you buy the postage stamps, you gotta add that to the cost. Then you send the book out and you wait five days for them to receive it. Unless, of course, you send it overnight, then it's gonna really cost you a lot more, more money. So anyway, you wait five days and then you give them a call and you say, have you received the book? And they say they did. Okay, have you read the book? They say they did. They lied to you, they didn't read the book. That's what's called cooling off. <clears throat> From the time you talk to them to the time they receive the book, the five days, they've already lost interest. See, that can't happen anymore. Because with the app, right while you're talking to them on your mobile device, you can send them the first five chapters of the book in print or audio, okay? Why is audio so important? Well, people are getting to the point where they're saying they don't have time to read, okay? Go to any town in the world during commuter time, look at the traffic. 90% of the vehicles have one person in them that hates their commute, probably hates their job, gonna work the rest of your life, end up broke, okay? They can change their whole life by taking their mobile device with them on their commute and listening to it, okay? Um, <laughs> you can listen to it while you're fixing dinner, while you're walking the dog, while you're exiting, all kinds of ways you can change your life by listening to it, okay? So, you know, you're gonna like what I'm gonna tell you here, okay? You can actually send them the five chapters while you're talking to them. So when you hang up the phone, they already have it. They don't have to wait five days. There's no more cooling off. Now, if you like that idea, you're going to love what I'm going to tell you now. Because when that person starts to read it, you get a ping on your mobile device letting you know they started to read it. Okay, when they hang up the phone before they finish the five chapters, you get another ping and it says they partially read it. And when they finish reading it, you get another ping saying they finished reading it. So how cool is that to be able to call that person 10, 20 minutes after they finished it? You don't have to ask them if they read it because you already know they did. <laughs> and you know they're interested or they wouldn't have finished it. So we're, we're excited about that. Now, here's the best part. And that's the cost, because the app's gonna cost $20, okay? You cannot send out one book for $20 with all the expenses added to it, okay? That's it, folks. It's all you spend, and you can send out unlimited first five chapters by print or audio or both, okay? When I say unlimited, you can send out 50 a month, 100 a month. It doesn't matter. Unlimited. And the cost of sending it to them, you're going to see in, in one of the steps of the app, you know, how it's done. And it, it, it's a learning curve. Once you've done it two, three times, you'll be able to send the five chapters out. It's going to take you about 20 seconds. Compare the, now the 20 seconds to how much time it took you to go to the store and back. So anyway, uh, let me go ahead and show you how simple our system is. We have a hat that says own your life and you wear a pin that says own your life. Now, if you don't have the hat and you don't have the pin, I'll tell you exactly what to say. And incidentally, you know, we're going to have a store in the app so you'll be able to get the hat and different things from the store. But until that happens, you, you can get these made anywhere, okay? But let's say that you're talking to a friend or someone you've met. Now, for the person you've met, do not do what I'm gonna teach you until you've made a connection with them. Ask them some questions, get to know them. Let them get to know you, make a connection. Because if you don't make a connection, you are wasting your time, okay? Now, this is all I'm gonna say about talking to a stranger because see, once you see how simple it is and that anybody can do it, 
Okay, once they understand it has nothing to do with selling. You've got so many people you can talk to right now, you'll never have to talk to a stranger. Okay, so you're talking to a friend during the course of the conversation. Simply ask them a question. You can write this down. The, the old system only has about a few sentences in it, so anybody can learn it. Write this down. Have you ever thought about what it would be like if you could own your life? Okay, and when you own your life, that's having time, money, and health. And we come up with another phrase, that's having a better life, okay? Um, what are they gonna say? They can say, you know, Don, you know, Don I <laughs> don't wanna own my life and I spend the rest of my life working, okay? Well, just tell them that most people don't even know one person that owns their life, that has time, money, and health. Young people, millennials, you know, if they're making 60 to 100,000 euros or dollars, you know, a year, they have a little money, but they don't have any time because of job commute and things they have to do, okay? Uh, their health's okay. Older people, uh, they have a lot of time, but they're running out of money and their health's going bad. So it's a simple question. How would you like to be able to own your life at a time in your life when you can enjoy it with your friends and your family, okay? And again, what are they gonna say? Uh, most people will say, gee, that sounds interesting. Can you tell me more? Now, I just did step number one. You realize that step number one takes less than one minute? Now, these, this is recorded, okay? You can get the recording from Adriana. You know, if you didn't learn it after hearing it once, <laughs> listen to it two, three times. You got it. Anybody can see if, if a person can learn a one minute presentation, they can build a business. That's how simple this is because now the tools take over and do all the talking for you. Not some of it, all of it. Okay. So now we're ready for the second step. You just say to them, you know, you're doing this on the phone. You're talking to them. It could be anywhere in the world. It doesn't matter. You, you, all you have to do is say, if you really want to get serious about owning your life, okay, you need to understand network marketing because 100% of the people in the world not in it don't, and 80 to 90% of people in it don't understand it. And you've been made so many company owners don't understand it. So when you understand it, we coined the phrase said, now you know how to drive. What I'm going to do, I'm going to send you the first five chapters of the best-selling book in the world on network marketing so you can start to understand it and know how to drive. How do you want me to send it to you? Do you want me to send it to you by print or by audio? Folks, you're done with step two. So from step one and step two, you got three, three minutes, <laughs> maybe not even three minutes. Anybody can learn to do that, okay? So now, once they have read the book, and notice it's their time to read or listen to the five chapters, not your time. So once they're finished with it, now they're ready for the app. And all the app, basically, there's several things I'll explain to you in a little bit what you get with the app. But basically, uh, you're going to be able to send out, you know, the first five chapters of the book by about six, seven different ways with technology. My partner, Jeff Rimaldi, is gonna link his phone to the computer, share the screen, and will demonstrate to you how you do it. And again, like I already said, it's like a learning curve. Once you've done it yourself two, maybe three times, it's gonna take you 20 seconds at best to send out the book anywhere in the world. And again, I already said this too, that compare that to the time it took you to go to the post office. Now, once they have gone through everything on the app, now they're ready to go to your vehicle. Never show anybody anything about your company product or mark plan, your vehicle, until they know how to drive. Because if they say to you, well, what are you selling or what's your company? You tell them, 
As soon as you hang up, they go to Google. They're going to look up your company. They're going to see all your products. And they're going to think you're trying to get sell them those products or get them to sell. And they're not interested. They don't want to sell. Okay. So what happens? I mean, very few people are going to ask that. Very few. But if they do, all I say to them, if I was selling anything, it would be an opportunity for you to own your life. If you are selling anything, that would be all you would sell. Folks, that is it. Uh, five, 10, 15. I just taught you everything you need to know to build a business in 25 minutes, okay? And the basic system takes between four, four and eight minutes, somewhere in that neighborhood. Anybody can learn to do it. And once they understand it has nothing to do with selling, they got more people to talk to than they'll ever know what to do with. Okay, so what you get with the app, okay, besides being able to send the five chapters out, you're going to get the new edition of my book. Now, when I say new edition, the book has not been upgraded in over 36 years. The book has been totally upgraded. And let me tell you, it is totally awesome. We have one little presentation where we talk about when you read my book here three to five times, it's kind of like, like oops, where are you? It's, it's kind of like you have a degree in network marketing. Okay, when you learn everything on the app, it's like you have a master's in network marketing. And when you put it into practice, you're going to be able to be owning your life in three to five years, having time, plenty, and health with a PhD in network marketing. Well, the new edition of the book is so complete, taking out all the antiquated stuff over the years, things are antiquated, okay? It is so completed that simply reading that book, say two, three times, you have your PhD in network marketing. So we're really, really excited, you know, to have that, that going. And uh, so you get the, with the app, you're going to have the, new edition of the book in both print and audio. You can't send out the entire book. You can only send out the first five chapters, okay? So you will get that for yourself. And if you want a hard copy, we are going to have a store on the app where you can order them in quantity discounts, whatever. A lot of people like to be able to mark things, underline things, what have you. Okay, you're also going to have a section on the app called Nancy's Wisdom. Now, Nancy, before she passed away, that was my wife, uh, she um, did a Zoom training that the women absolutely love and the men like it too. So we have a section there with that Zoom training plus a couple interviews that we did. And um, also there's more content that'll be going in that section. There's another section called questions and answers. Okay, right now, the app we have has 25 questions and answers. Jeff already has a list of 30 more that will be added to that. Now, the way that works, you sponsor a new person. They sponsor someone that asks your person a question. So what if you're out of town? How long does it take them to track you down to get the answer? Now, all they got to do is go to their mobile device find a question and answer, and then they can send that to the person just like you would send them the five chapters of the book. And it has tracking so you can see when they started looking at it when they finished it. So we're excited to have that going. Um, we are going to have, with the new app, we're gonna have testimonies. And what that is, of course, they'll run like a minute and a half to two minutes, done on Zoom. And um, basically people like, Adrian or I mentioned earlier that we never talk about a company or product, but these will be like, let me give you an example. We had a woman here about a month or so ago uh, who gave a testimony that after hearing our training one time, the very next week she sponsored two people and each one of them sponsored one. And so people who have been in that work marketing for a while, trying to do it with sales, knowing it doesn't work now, knowing what they've been doing wrong and so forth and how now things are really going, uh, you're going to uh, be doing the testimonies. Now, you can volunteer to do a testimony, but we will tell you, 
that if you do, uh, you're going to be seen and known all over the world because the app's going to, we're going to do the app in all the major languages. So it will be all over the world. So people will see you all, uh, all over the world. Uh, also, we're going to have as part of the app a Dr. Steve Hines. Now, he is a retired eye surgeon. He'd been doing some trainings for us on Zoom over the last year. And this guy is really good. Okay. He's retired as a multimillionaire from the eye surgery business. And he got into network marketing, been in it for 30 years, has the fastest growing organization with his company using our system and training and so forth. And let me tell you, if you have a doctor, dentist, lawyer, professional person that listens to this guy talk for three to four minutes, they're going to want to join your business unless there's something wrong with them. Guy is really, really good. So that's pretty much it. Oh, there's one thing I almost always forget, but I always look over at Adrian and I'm reminded. <laughs> she came up with the idea that because I'm well known all over the world, because all I ever do is wear a Hawaiian shirt. Okay, I don't own a suit, but I have 400 Hawaiian shirts. Very rare you ever come on a training call, you'll see me with the same shirt. Okay, so anyway, we're going to have a Hawaiian shirt, really cool one. That'll, somewhere on it will say, own your life, okay? That'll be available on the store also. Did I pretty much hit everything, Adriana, what's happening? I, I think probably the most important thing that people need to realize is that when you get the app, it's like you have myself, and of course, if you're in Poland, you have Adriana, you have Jeff Romaldi, you have Dr. Steve Hines, we're all working for you, okay? You don't have to go out and try to explain what you just learned here to somebody. Don't have to do that. Because when you get the app, and the, of course the Zoom training is recorded, and the Zoom training is gonna be on the app too. So you can just send the Zoom training to someone and let us do the talking for you, okay? So, that, I mean, that makes it so simple. Okay, now, I wanted to tell you how you can do in three to five years, which took me 25 years to do. And it has to do with one word, and the word is time. Because back, you know, when we got started 25 years ago, I've been in the industry for 50 years, you didn't have time. And the book was written 36 years ago, and it stopped at five. Once you had five serious distributors, you didn't have time to work with more than five legs. Because see, five goes to 25, goes to 125, goes to 625, 3,125. If you're duplicating and meeting the people down line, you didn't have time for, for more than that. Give you an example. And it's been antiquated, taken out of the book and replaced, okay? Uh, of course, the industry has gone through three phases. You know, the first one, people would invite people to hotel meetings, okay? and then hope they'd show up. Well, it turned out that after the meeting, more people showed up in the coffee shop than, than at, the, at the meeting. So it evolved to having sizzle sessions in, uh, you know, in restaurants. Well, that's gone away now, because of course in California, we had over a year where all the restaurants were closed, but we had already evolved to Zoom. Zoom has taken the place of, the, well, this is a sizzle session, but it's not done in a restaurant. Give you an example. Before we had the system, technology, and so forth, you'd invite maybe three to 15 people to a sizzle session. They would come three to 15 different directions, driving 15 minutes to an hour to get there, hour and a half at the sizzle session, maybe longer. Some people didn't get home till 10, 11 o'clock at night. Now the spouse was home taking care of the children. I will guarantee you, if you had done that more than once a week, you were in trouble with your spouse, okay? Well, see, we don't do them that way anymore. We do them on Zoom, okay? I do anywhere from one to five or more sizzle sessions a day. This is like a sizzle session. We're gonna get into the Q and A's here in just a couple of minutes, okay? It's a sizzle session. Can you imagine counting the weekends if you only did one Zoom training sizzle session 
a day, okay? Right there, you would be growing seven times faster than doing them one a week. Now, again, I told you we stopped at five. So now once, because you have time and you don't have to spend the money for gas to get to the restroom either. So now you've got time. So once you've got your five series one and they're going getting duplicated, you add another one, start them to duplicate. Then you add another one and you get it out to 10. Okay, once you have 10 active people, okay, you're gonna love this. You can go the rest of your life and never ever sponsor another person, ever. Because you got those 10 people, you got to meet their 10, that's 100 you've got to meet. And then you've got to meet 1,000. Then you've got to meet 10,000. Why would you be out looking for people when you got people right in your own downline that you can support and help and work with those people? Okay, so just for the fun, you do this when we hang up. Take out a piece of paper and put down five. And then next to it, put down 10 with enough space in between to put the difference, which is five. Notice that 10 goes to 100. Next to 25, the difference is 75. 10 times 100 is 1,000. Next to 125, the difference is 875. Then it goes to 10,000. Next to 3,125, you do the, the math yourself out to six levels deep, and you will be able to do in three to five years what did us 25 years to do. Okay, so we're going to take a photo here in just a minute, but I'm going to tell you why we do it. And then after the photo, we're going to stop the, uh, after the explanation here, we're going to stop the recording. And then we'll start it again. Now, the reason we do that is because if you go too long on the recording, then a lot of people can't open it up. So the reason we do the the uh, the photo, probably the second or third Zoom training that that we did, someone asked if they could take take a photo, and I said fine. Uh, just keep it, you know. Don't you know mention your company or product or. Anything. Then they asked if they could post it on Facebook. And I said, that's fine. Just again, don't, you know, mention your company or products because we stay neutral. Well, it turned out that <laughs> some of these people had a thousand friends, some 2,000, some 4,000, some even more. And they've been friends, gosh, for 10, 15, 20 years, some of them. Okay. And a lot of those friends they had back a long time ago. We're with them in network marketing, but they've been long gone, like, like most, okay, because they didn't want to sell. So we call this the apologetic approach. So what you do is that you call these people, and you might have talked to them for five or 10 years, and just say, hi, gee, I haven't talked to you for a long time. And the reason I'm calling, because I wanted to apologize. Notice how powerful quiet is, okay? They're wondering, well, why, why are you apologizing? You say, well, remember, I got you into that network marketing program many years ago. Well, see, I didn't know what I was doing. Be honest, okay? I didn't know what I was doing because if I did, you would have been retired many, many years ago. I just recently had a training from one of the top distributors in the world on network marketing. And I learned that we don't sell. We sponsor and teach people to duplicate and anybody can do that. And we have a Zoom training that I can send you so you can see what we're doing now. And let me tell you that if you follow what's on that training, you'll never have to sell to anybody or look for people to sell. And you'll be able to be, you know, owning your life, having time and in health in three to five years. You want me to send you the Zoom training. That's it, folks. So what if they say no? How long did that take you to make that call? One minute, okay? So maybe you got three, 400 people or 50 people, it doesn't matter how many. What if two or three of them said, gee, send it to me? 
that really sounds good. Okay, so that's why we do the, the photo. And I would recommend if you don't have your picture up, it's not going to work for you because it's going to be hard to send it out without your photo. So Adriana will take the photo and then we'll, she'll stop the recording and start it. And we'll do the questions and answers. On my second, third level, uh, who's going to pull in a week and a half from now. And Adriana has already met this person and has already talked to this person. And they're already totally excited about getting involved in network marketing. So that, that's how it works, folks. And what I just described will work for any country in the world where your company is in business, okay? Can you imagine if your company is in Japan? Okay. <laughs> See how many Japanese live in America. See where they live, okay? Can you imagine an English ad in a Japanese paper? You know what Japanese print looks like or Chinese print, you know, Korean print. I mean, whatever, it doesn't matter, okay? This is an awesome way. We could say a paraplegic could sit behind his computer, never leave his computer, and build a worldwide business. And all you got to do is just get one. Folks, how many countries are there out there? 160, 170 countries? But you know, your company's not obviously in all of them. But pick the one where you'd like to go, okay? Do that first. And once you've done it once, it's so easy to do again. You do it with another country. Get just one serious people in five different countries and you're done. I mean, you, you, got, you got an unbelievable life. You'd be traveling all around the world and stuff, and it doesn't cost you anything because it's a business expense. Okay, I hope that answered the guy's question, but it's kind of a long answer, but I think it helped him out. Okay, thank you. Uh, the next question Can my family inherit what I built from uh, me in network marketing? Well, you know, I've been in the industry for 50 years and I've never seen it company that would not let you pass it along to your heirs. However, you got to understand that whoever you pass along to got to maintain your qualifications because most companies, you got to make a purchase each month to get, you know, get paid. Well, someone's got to do that. Okay. If you don't do it, you're, you're, you're getting nothing because no checks are going to be sent out. Okay, thank yeah, you. I'd say I would say it's probably almost a hundred percent. You know, if you're with a company that doesn't do that, I'd find another company. Uh, is it very important that your company is in direct saving association associate or not? Absolutely not. That that let me tell you something. That direct selling association hurts our industry, you know, because people are saying, well, gosh, you know, we don't, we're teaching people that we're not looking for salespeople. Nobody wants to sell. But then, gosh, my company's in the direct selling association. Well, the reason they're in there is because in the history of the industry, attorney generals, they started going after companies for being pyramids or whatever, basically to get a name so they could go and go for a higher office, okay? So that was a means of being able to protect the companies. It protects the companies, but it screws you as far as trying to build a business. I, I would never use that as, a, as an advantage. Say, oh, my company's a direct sales, uh, great. Go with it and you'll be broke in a year. Yeah, but uh, you know, the, there can be uh, some kind of confusion when uh, somebody is uh, telling any other person about a company. And in fact, uh, this can be not MLM company, but uh, kind of scam or really pyramid or something like that. And uh, always people asking about the direct selling associations. Uh, because they they thought that it's uh, then legal, more legal, yes. Yeah, well, they're all they're confused. 
just have read my book. In fact, the new edition of the book, anybody that reads the first chapter will totally understand all of this, what we're talking about here. And they read the first chapter, they're going to finish the book. Mm -hmm. The pyramid is like traditional business. You got a, a president, a CEO, a president, top people at the top, and then you got all the workers down at the bottom. That that's a pyramid, right? Network marketing, it's upside down. Okay, because everybody at the bottom can make it to the top. Okay, huge difference. I always draw uh, the pyramid from the other side like that because <laughs> when I'm on the bottom, the sponsor, and I'm trying to do everything to up people, <laughs> it's completely different. Yes, <laughs> I'm not so, taking the advantages of that the, the down down line, <laughs> but they are okay, upline so, in fact. <laughs> hey, John, something that I just evolved to recently that has a new person we have in our downline so excited okay and this gets into the difference between see we're a business but we're not a traditional business you know tradition all businesses have overhead like most businesses they got to put up a building they have you know employees they have inventories payrolls all of this stuff well this person heard me mention that i'll do 150 million in volume this year with my business and I don't even have a secretary, okay? The only thing I have to handle is what I order for myself. The company delivers the products to all the people all over the world. The company pays the bonus checks to people all over the world. All I have to do is make sure I make my qualifying order, which is different with each company, to, to get paid, that's it. Well, this gal, she happened to have a, have a construction company and she had 66 employees. Gosh, and when she heard that, she got totally excited. She said, I'll never have a traditional business again. This is really, really exciting. So that's that's kind of where we're at with, uh, with the traditional businesses. And I could anyway. add to something that um, many people are uh, telling me that uh, they are just uh, left. Uh, by their sponsor, maybe it's not sponsor, but it's a recruiter, and they are alone. Uh, what can you uh, recommend those people? What they should do? Get another sponsor. Get another company. You but can, if they you want to, wants to be in in that old company, what to do in, in that situation? Well, you, you look at. You know, if you don't have an upline that's supporting you the way we teach. It's going to be very confusing for people because you're never going to want your people you're bringing in talk to that person because they're recruiting people to sell, and that just doesn't work. And if you got an upline that that keep pushing you to recruit and sell, I get away from them because they're not helping you. Now, if you need to move on to another company, do understand that you might already have some products with that company that you like, so keep keep ordering them. That's fine. Just with the new company you start up with, just stay away from the people that were in your first company. But don't try to build a business in two companies because that doesn't work either. You know, over the years, I've been in five, five major companies, you know, I've been 50 years in the industry, very successful in every one. And I left for all different reasons to move on, but I never ever went back to people that were in. The previous company with the new company. Always started with new people. The company I'm with now, the four people I started with, uh, I, I, I just, you know, I met them when I was doing seminars in Europe, and that was it. But you, you get, you can't, you can't work with someone that's going to keep trying to get you to sell. It's not going to happen. It's not going to work. Because first of all, like I said, why would you want any of your people to even talk to any of those people? The question is uh, another question here. Do you have any recommendation on how to attract people on Facebook? <laughs> well, I already told, told them how to do it. Have them send them the Zoom training. Just tell them, you know, don't try to explain all this stuff to them because, you know, I mean, you don't need to because the tools can do the talking for you. 
because if they'll listen to the Zoom training, you know, they're going to be interested. Once see, got it go, always goes back to once they understand they don't have to sell or look for people to sell. They got more people to talk to, they'll ever know what to do with. And I, I think that the, the most important part is that you are sharing the knowledge about uh, how to do network marketing in completely different way. This is also the reason that people are just starting to be more interested in what you are doing, yes? Well, the thing is that everybody knows people that haven't made it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and they haven't made it, why? Because they didn't want to sell. Yeah. James, do you have uh, uh, willing to ask something? Please turn on. I do. I do. Yeah. Hi, Don, a Adriana, and Jeff. I just wanted to thank you. Every time I come back here for the training every week, I respond for myself. It's a breath of fresh air, the whole system. Thank you. Thank you. Thank and you. That, it works. <laughs> absolutely. You're welcome. I do have a question, too, as far as with the Own Your Life system and all the, all the different compensation plans that are out there. This, this, from what I'm understanding, when you're working with just one, basically what I guess my question is that the system will work for any compensation plan, regardless of the company. Correct. Correct. There is a recommendation for Down. Uh, you can easily make new friends on Facebook by commenting on other people's comments, in example, in, the in a group, then send them a friend request, stay in touch, and one day you ask, have you ever thought about blah, blah, blah? <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. It is so like that, people, yes. People just, they're just blown away. They can't believe how simple this is. Like, you know, your talking time, first step, one minute, second step, two minutes, third step, maybe three to three minutes, you know, they got it. They got everything they need to know. And your talk, talking time is way less than uh, eight to 10 minutes. Anybody can do that, learn that. In fact, I have to forget about selling. I asked yesterday my friends, uh, uh, do you have still uh, the feeling uh, on your back, uh, background, let's say, <laughs> that you think uh, during any conversation of, uh, with a new friend that how to tell him about my company, about my products? Do you have this feeling right now or not? If yes, forget about sales, yes? <laughs> forget about all that stuff, just talk and be curious about how the people are doing and, and what they are uh, interested in about their dreams yes you know since we're not being translated let me go over uh this thing about when i sign someone up how we get them started with the products and so forth because mm -hmm. remember i'm not looking for people that are in hell you know that's eight percent it's a small market so all I do is exactly what I taught you. And when they get ready to sign up, I have a conversation with them about overhead, which we've already briefly talked about, you know, the difference in this traditional overhead and the overhead in network marketing. Got to make a purchase of some products each month. It's different for all companies to qualify to get paid. So anyway, see our company has a lot of products. Like some of your, your company, you know, Maybe have 50, 60, 100 products. It doesn't matter. You know, I talk to them about one. That's it. Or whatever you need to talk to them about just to qualify to get paid. Okay. If they need to order two products, try to pick out a couple you think they'd like. Because remember, they've never been in a health food store, never taken a health product in their life. And they're going to start taking this product. Why? Because they want to own their life. Okay. So now they start taking the product. And within six days to a week, they're coming to us saying, gosh, I don't know what's in that product, but boy, do I feel good. I haven't felt this good in years. And so they're totally excited. Okay. Well, now most companies have what they call an auto ship where you can get the product or sent the same time each month. Let's say they forget to order the product and order the auto ship and they forget to order the product. They run out of the product. 
the experience they'll have when they run out of the product is greater than when they went on it. <laughs> That's why I've got people who started 25 years ago that order every month. They're not building a business, folks. Back then, we didn't even know what we were doing getting started. We had, you know, took this years to, for all of us to evolve, to learn all this stuff, but they wouldn't quit ordering the product. Now, here's what happens. Most companies will have a catalog that come out with your product. If they don't, all the products are on the internet. If they're not on the internet, then the company is really behind schedule. Okay. So anyway, they wouldn't give you two minutes looking at that catalog for those products. But once they've had the experience with it, now they start looking at it. And they start saying, gee, I want to try this. I want to try that. I want to try this. They might pick out three, four, half a dozen different products they want to try. Now, I want you to note something here, folks. They are selling themselves the products. You're not selling it to them. If you were selling anything, it's just getting your foot in the door with only your life. That's, that's it. That's how the products move. And then as long as we're on that subject, again, I, some new people here may not have heard this before, that when you're duplicating and you're going down, that's how you motivate your people. Because see, people ask me, you know, how do I motivate my people? I live in San Diego. Over 95% of my people are in Europe. I say, I don't motivate them. I teach them how to motivate themselves. Okay, two ways. I had a publisher in Australia tell me once that, he read my book 10 times. Every time he read it, he learned something new. There's things in the book that when you read it, it motivates you. Now, here's the biggest thing that will motivate you. Duplication. Now, how does that motivate you? Let's say that you're three, four, five levels deep, and you are sound asleep at night, and you wake up in the morning, you look at your computer at the internet, and you see that while you were sleeping, Someone in your downline sponsored somebody. Folks, you are excited, you are motivated. Now, when I wake up in the morning, first thing I do when I turn my computer on, look at my genealogy, okay, not counting weekends, I average over 500 people a day. It's about 18,000 people a month coming into my business, okay? I'm excited, I'm motivated, folks, but it didn't start with 500 or 600, it started with one. That will excite a new person, get that one. Then that person gets somebody or somebody else gets somebody. And before you know it, you're getting two or three a week. And then all of a sudden you're getting four or five a week and so forth, constantly motivated. Now, this is gonna save you a lot of money. I mean, a lot. You got people in your downline that spend thousands of dollars going to these two, three day seminars from these motivational people who number one, are not building a business in network marketing. And if they believed it and understood it, why aren't they doing it, okay? But they're great motivators. They are so good that after you spend all that money, they've got you motivated to come back for advanced training and spend a bunch more money. But the motivation you get from these people are what we call hot bath. You know what happens when you get out of a hot bath? You cool off. You're lucky if the motivation will last a week. The motivation I'm talking about doesn't go away. It just keeps getting stronger and better all the time. Save your money, and use it on your products and building your business. Okay. I like doing that one without translating. <laughs> Anyone else uh, would like to share with with uh, your thoughts, please. Any, okay. other any other testimonies, people that have been on there for several, several times, you keep coming back. So must be some <laughs> what is it you like about coming back? <laughs> But, uh, yeah. Britta, okay, please. Yeah. It's a bit like uh, what James just said before. It's like getting refocused. Um, 
and also reassuring that what people tend to tell you about what they think MLM is, um, is wrong. It's <laughs> 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 just, just staying clear, staying focused. And, and I really enjoy the company. I enjoy seeing people from all over the world that work for that vision of owning their lives. And that's, yeah, that gives just a good positive energy to start the new week. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Brittany. You know, one thing for the new people might not have heard that the network marketing industry is the biggest industry in the world where the blind are leading the blind. People that don't have a clue how this industry works are trying to teach other people how to do it. Now, one place where you can really see it when you're listening to a company training and somebody's up there telling people, the new people, that the first thing they've got to do is make a list of 100 names. Man, run the other way. They don't have a clue. You tell me why you need 100 names to sponsor one person. See what they're doing. That's what a sales manager tells uh, salespeople to do, to make a list of 100 names. Well, we're not in sales. So why do you need 100 names to sponsor one person? I tell people, if you really feel like you need a list of names, right? maybe make a list of five people that you would like to help own their life so they could go on a cruise with you next year. But other than that, you know, and they'll tell you, that guys, when you start, you got to go and recruit a bunch of people right away. Okay, folks, that doesn't work. Like someone might mention that you know <laughs> somebody sponsored them and then they never see them again. You know they they're gone because they're all already out looking for the next person. You start duplicating and so forth. Uh, you don't you don't need a list of honor names because you got plenty of people to talk to with starting with the first one. <laughs> Uh, James said, yes, hanging out with dreamers and the doers. Uh, Akila said, uh, re reinforced my 58-year-old uh, memory, reprogrammed the cell sales staff. Ah, deprogrammed. <laughs> okay, deprogrammed. Yeah, this is completely change of your mind, yes, uh, because um, it's very difficult sometimes to forget about sales, to change the, the way of doing this in a completely different way. Just forget about the products and just think about only life uh, and, and joy, happiness, and everything what is really, really great in, in life, yes, not, not the product and company, because it's all right, it should be, but... <laughs> <laughs> but in fact, you are the most important part of the life, of your life, and nobody else will live your life. Yes, in fact. There's only a few things you have to remember. You know, you just always remember the building. You can't put up a building without the foundation. And the foundation has to be deep. And that leads you right into, well, it's deep because you duplicate. <laughs> if you don't duplicate, it doesn't go deep. And again, once you've sponsored you know, once you've got 10 people who are totally active, you're done. You know, you never have to sponsor anybody else. That people that's recruiting people to sell because they're like a sales manager. People are working for them. They don't last too long. They spend their whole life looking for that next person to recruit. They can never give up. Okay. It's horrible. But, but we are, in fact, looking for good, let's say, good quality people. Yes. The, the right ones that are really understanding and, and have the... Uh, big dreams and big, uh, you know, that they want to 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 own their life, uh, uh, whole body, yes. <laughs> and uh, they are not like uh, maybe I will earn a little bit and maybe I will sell something and I will have an additional job or something like that. They have to change uh, the way of doing this, in fact, uh, because it's not possible to to earn a lot of money in MLM doing sales only. Uh, just building the the whole organization like you don don't yes so you can do i mean another thing too about salespeople, it's really hard to talk to them because they already know it all you know it's hard completing thought patterns but they keep interrupting you and so forth they already got it together they just it's really tough i don't i don't even like talking to them <laughs> It's terrible uh, earlier when, some, when two sales people are meeting together. <laughs> There's <laughs> <no> craziness. 
Okay. <laughs> That's, uh, I think that, I don't know if, do you, do you have any, any other question or something because I don't see anything on the chat. If not, I hope that uh, you will join next week uh, on Thursday and everybody will meet together and, and we'll bring here uh, your friends. And uh, thank you very much for today, Don, and for all uh, your attention here. And <laughs> I hope that, that uh, we will have great uh, next week. So have a great time. Adriana, every, everybody should just, if nothing else, just try to get one person to listen to the Zoom training next week. Yeah, That's but nice. sometimes, you know, invite the one person is really big job. <laughs> <laughs> However, guys, it is possible. Look at this. Look at this here. I'm alone and I just started to do this one and a half year ago. And right now, here's 16 people they are invited here. Yes, yeah, so it is possible. <laughs> Maybe well, not we've... so fast, but it is. <laughs> We've had up to 100 people, and the reason we're not getting 100 people is because Adriana keeps sending out recordings of the Zoom training, so they don't have to wait until next Thursday, you know, to come to it. But then, you know, I keep telling them if they come next Thursday, they're probably going to hear something in the Q&A and testimonies they haven't heard before. Yeah, it is. <laughs> okay. Well, wait, so, they, but... wait, wait, wait till the app is out. Once the app is out, these Zoom trainings will go to, see, like I've been inviting people, unfriending people on Facebook and finding people that are into network marketing, inviting them to the Zoom training. That's one person, okay? Mm -hmm. Well, all these, these Zoom trainings, we're picking the best ones are gonna be on the app. So can you imagine once we have the app out in five major languages and everybody, I mean, we have a million people that have gotten the app, and every one of them can send out a link for the Zoom training. These trainings are going to go to 1,000, 1,500 people. The biggest Zoom training I've done was a, was a couple of Tony Robbins translators in Moscow. We had 2,000 Russians on the uh, call. So there's, there's no limit to how big these uh, trainings can get. So, you know, think about questions and stuff you have because it's going to be a lot easier to answer, <laughs> ask the questions now. And we start getting uh, that many people on these calls. Yeah. Well, you have the, the recordings uh, on the YouTube channel. You can uh, take the link. And uh, when you are organizing the meeting for your group, maybe it will be a small group, maybe two person or, or three or, or maybe more. Just use the tools, that, uh, that the recordings, and show the people the, the, the recording if they cannot participate here right now. And you can start to build your group uh, with that trainings too, without you know, joining them here. So it is possible. <laughs> well, we'll see you all next week. Yeah, see you next week. Kisses for all of you, hacks, <laughs> and greetings from Poland to all the world. <laughs> okay. Ciao. Bye-bye. <laughs>